Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Pachiva and I live full time in my van with my daughter Sarah and my dog Chili. And today let's talk about solar. <laughs> okay, so on my roof I have four solar panels, each one of a hundred watts. Um, the panels that I put on my roof are flexible, so I didn't screw them in, in the roof. They are taped with um, RV tape and it's pretty solid. Um, those panels have been there since um, November, I will say. I had two in September and then I upgraded to a two more. But uh, yeah, let's move forward a little bit. I'm going to show you. They are very hot, so I'm trying not to touch. Um, Beside connecting the solar to your battery, you need a few things. So you need to have adapters. Um, as you can see, it looks messy here, but those four panels need to connect all together. So here they are all connected together. And then we're gonna have only one minus and one plus. They are gonna connect to our um, a solar controller and the solar controller will be connected to the inverter and the inverter to the batteries. So. Let's pop up in the back and I'll show you the rest. All right, you guys, so in the back of my van, as you can see, there's only two wires. So after connecting all the four panels together, we get only two. And then those are connected to uh, my solar controller it's upside down because it's attached to the roof so hold on let me turn it around there you go so as you can see the solo controller you have four wires here so two of them are connected to the solar and the other two are connected to the inverter i have a 2000 watt inverter and it's very powerful and the inverter is connected to two batteries that I have right here underneath. Each one 100 amp, so I have 200 all together. Um, that this system has been working great for me with the 2000 uh, watt inverter and 200 uh, battery. I had never had an issue, I never ran out of power. I have to mention though that I live in California, in Southern California, so we have plenty of sun, even though I don't leave the van in the sun all the time. I have my lights connected, my fridge, um, I connect my chargers uh, for my computer and my phones. Um, I use um, the water heater and what else? Sometimes I use my printer, um, even um, iron, and I will use a toaster for to, to toast a um, bread. And I really never had an issue. So 2000 and 200 uh, battery, it's really a way to go. And yeah, so it's all working perfect and I'm happy. So I highly recommend to get at least that. When I started, I had only two panels on the roof. I had only one battery and my inverter was only 1000. And I was running out of power very quickly. So that's my recommendation. I do recommend though to have a gap between your solar panels and the roof because right now the fact that my solar panels are right on the roof my roof is getting pretty hot um, but it's not a big deal I did put some insulation underneath but very little so if you have a gap it will be better it won't get never too hot but yeah so that's my roof and that's my short video about solar I don't have too much to say um, all the connections uh, from the wires to the battery to the inverter everything was pretty simple um each part came with instructions so it wasn't such a big deal so if you have any question to me please leave a comment below um and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching with me and by the way if you like my creator t-shirt it's available on, in my store pinkmash.com uh, so until next time bye and thank you for watching